that's so sweet. Pretty much an always favorite. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and fooies for you today and more summery makeup favorites to share with y'all. Um, just more bright cheeks. Uh, I really love this neutral lip and yeah, just kind of a soft eye look. Nothing over the top, just summery sort of makeup. That's, I just keep loving that because it makes sense because it's summertime. So um, if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's reviews, empties. Uh, I can't remember what else, but a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites, so let's get to it. Pretty much an always favorite, the Laura Geller Baked Bronze in Brighton and Fair. I love this. I've mentioned this so many times. I'm not going to spend that long chatting about it, but it deserves a mention because I've been continuing to wear it. I wear it all the time. It's one of my go-tos for a quick makeup look. And just look at it. It's so beautiful. Bronzy, pinky. It's gorgeous. I love this. It's this rosy kind of a bronzer type product. So I have this all over my lid and into my crease as well as something else that I will share with you in a minute. I have it on as my bronzer today. But also, there was one day I was having to get ready really quickly. Like shower, redo the hair, redo the makeup, all the things. And I got ready in like an hour, so I was pretty, well, actually under an hour. That impressed me. So fast makeup, I use this all over my lid and then also on my cheeks as my blush and my bronzer and kind of a one and done product. And I've done that many times before. This is my go-to one and done product. I love it. It's this blushy bronzer sort of color. And I really liked the look. It was just not over the top and really pretty. I don't know, I think just because it's summertime, I'm liking lighter makeup, but also I'm not 20 anymore. So I feel like less makeup looks better on me. I mean, there's, some, I mean, I still go over the top with makeup sometimes, but there's something to be said about a lighter makeup that's just kind of enhancing, but not the focal point. It's not about the makeup. It's just kind of enhancing the beauty. So it kind of depends on I don't know what my mood is that day. If I'm just wanting to be super creative and I don't really care, I'm just wanting to play with makeup and it's fine if it goes over the top. But there's something to be said about just kind of light, pretty makeup. I feel like it's kind of um, looking a little bit more flattering on me personally. So with the bronzer, I have been loving these, the Wet n Wild Shadow Silk Liquid Eyeshadows. This lighter shade is, I don't know, because it's written in clear writing on it. Lunar Beige, I think, is this one. And this is the more coppery color. I don't know. I'll write this down. It's literally written in little tiny writing and it's clear. That doesn't make it easy to read. And I'm farsighted. So this one is a lighter, kind of like champagne -y beige sort of color. So pretty. So I'm not wearing this one today, but if you want kind of a lighter color, this one's gorgeous, this like beautiful champagne-y beige. It's nice and opaque, but you can also kind of diffuse it a little bit like I did with this one. So I have this pretty lightly applied to my lid. Like it's not over the top metallic. It's really a softer look, especially this one in particular, um, especially when you kind of pair it with like a, a similar color. It just kind of ends up giving this little bit of a sheen on the lid that's not over the top. It's really, really pretty, but look how it catches the light. And so you can see here it is kind of more full on. And then on my lid, it's just a light application where it's just a little bit of a metallic sheen, but not over the top. I love it. These are great. They're really affordable. They're a nice formula to them. Once they set, I mean, you can see they wear very well. That one is pretty much set. But before they set, you've got a little bit of playtime, but I mean, you can see that one's already setting, so not a ton. So they, they really wear well. Once they set down, they wear well. You got a little bit of playtime at the beginning, but then once they set, they are set. For blush, I've got some CoverGirl favorites, and I always struggle to share CoverGirl blushes because, at least these, like the little trios and especially the Cheekers blushes, because when you go swatching them, they get hard pan. And I don't know why that is, but it just seems to happen. But I love them on the cheeks. I feel like they don't swatch well, and I feel like when you do swatch them, it kind of messes up the product. But 
On the cheeks, they're beautiful, so I will try to swatch them just for you. But just know, mine look a little bit, you know, a little bit wonky, and it's because of swatching them. So this is the Instant Cheekbones in Refined Rose. This is beautiful. It's got, like, these little um, Instant Cheekbones have three different products in them. This one's kind of more of a... I mean, they're all sort of satiny. The most sheeny of the three is the smaller one usually, I think, in the trios. I think all of them are like that. So this is what this one looks like. So it's, see, it's not going to swatch well. These just don't, I don't know why this is. They just don't swatch well, but I love them on the face. So here it is. Not impressive in a swatch, but they are affordable. They are so pretty on the skin. They blend well and they're buildable. They're really not a difficult to work with cheek product. That's why I love them. I feel like they're really a gem at the drugstore. They're just, they've been around for a long time and they're just good. They're fun. That You can play with them in different ways that you can just, you know, grab one of the colors. You're going to need a small brush to do that. But if you got a smaller brush, you can get in there and just get one of them and get a certain look or you can mix them all together and get a different look. This one is like going to give you that more highlighty look so you can use it as a highlighter or a really um, highlighty looking cheek. So you've got options with these. So I really, really like them. I feel like this does less of the hard pan, but then you get into the Cheekers blushes. And if you watch my channel, you know that I love the Cheekers blushes. I love them. I think they're amazing and they're so affordable and just good, but they swatch horribly like this is going to get oh i'm giving it hard pan see that's not even swatching like it won't even swatch but it's this beautiful bright pink let me see if i can do with anything with this okay i tried to kind of dig at it with um my little eyelash i guess well, i don't even know what it is. a little like tool <laughs> a makeup tool i kind of scratched at the top of it and got the top layer off so i'm going to be able to hopefully show you a little Swatch. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Pretty. See? Did I even tell you the name of this one? I think it's Candy Pink. I'm almost positive it's pink or pink candy. Pink candy. It's this beautiful kind of brighter bubblegum pink. I love it. This one's one of my very favorites of the Cheekers. Is that not gorgeous? It's got this little bit of a sheen to it. It looks really pretty on the skin. So yeah, it's it's a whole situation now. <laughs> But I got you a little swatch so that you could see it. It's just this beautiful bright pink. And now it's a little bit of a mess. I think we're already on the lips. This is going quick. So Ofer has a new collection with Hot Mess Mama. Such a beautiful collection. I have a reel and a TikTok on it. Um, so there is a palette. And then there's also a little lip duo. This is the Inseparable Lip Duo. The whole duo is beautiful, but this is my favorite product. So I have this on right now with a different gloss, but I'll go ahead and show you the whole duo. So this is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick from Ofra with Hot Mess Mama, and the color is called Hot Mess Mama, and it is this beautiful, kind of, I guess I would describe this as like a cool, well, it's just really kind of a, an amazing neutral shade. Kind of like a mauve sort of color. I don't even know if it's described the color name, but it's just beautiful. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a mauve neutral. Um, it's nice and opaque. It applies nicely on the lips. I love their liquid lipstick formula. I'm not really a liquid lipstick person. It's just not my favorite lip product to use, but theirs is a very comfortable, but long wearing, not drying. It kind of keeps a little bit of movement to it. Just a really good formula. So I love it. That is it by itself. And then the gloss, the gloss is beautiful too. The gloss is called Butterfly Kisses. I don't know if I had looked at the name on the gloss. That's so sweet. Smells good. This is a gorgeous, kind of mostly clear with just a little bit of a hint of a champagne kind of a look to it, but super glossy really catches the light beautifully. So pretty. Let me layer it over the liquid lipstick so you can see that. It's beautiful, the combo. So there they are layered together. Gorgeous. And there it is by itself. Um, I was going to say, is there shimmer in it? Yes, I think. I mean, I definitely can see it in the container. In the swatch, yes, but it's so microfine. I mean, you can't see it 
it really just more creates this light catching look to it. I definitely, I mean, it's, it's like such micro fine shimmer. It's just pretty. It's so pretty. But I have the liquid lipstick on with NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Beautiful neutral shade. I love this. I'll swatch it by itself. This is one of my favorite glosses ever. I love this color. So this is more on the kind of cool tone mauve side. And this is more on the like warm toned peachy pinky side. So it gives a little bit more, um, it kind of tones down the gray, almost like the gray purple. It kind of tones that down a little bit, but I love it. I really like this combo. Very comfortable. You know that these glosses are super comfortable. Yeah, they're not like tacky. It's just good. So yeah, some neutral lip options. All right, you guys, those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.